And therefore, we started to talk intensively how we could measure implant stability to make that decision. Because, of course, in the long run, it's always can we use it later in daily practice. And when you look at the techniques to measure implant stability, at that time, I was thinking about period test values. But we have used them many years uh, in follow-up studies. But you can only really measure that when you have a restored implant. And insertion torque values, and are very popular in Sweden, would tell you I've never measured an insertion torque. In all my years, I'm now involved 27 years with implant dentistry. And I would say there's a big disadvantage because you can only measure once, but you cannot measure at three or six weeks, whatever, because there's only one measurement and then you rely on the measurement at implant surgery. And the third one, RFA. We know that this was introduced in 96 by Meredith, and we have seen that this technology had improved over the years, and we are in the third generation of that, this kind of device. The big breakthrough from my point of view was actually then last year. I saw it the first time at the AO conference in uh, San Diego uh, when we got this device. You see, first of all, it looks like a nice uh, gimmick. You see, like an iPod, slightly larger. So this actually improves, impresses all the patients when you introduce that. Same smart pack is used. And we have seen that the measurements are very quick and they're very consistent now.